Hey everyone, it's Riley and today I'm back to color in another bullet journal theme in the undated planners that I recently launched. Now on that note, I did want to ask you guys for like name ideas for this product. I've just been calling them undated planners or like pre-made bullet journals, but I'm not really sure like what is best or like what to call them, you know, like I feel like both of those things kind of describe what they are, but not like totally. So if you guys have name suggestions for this product, please let me know down in the description. I know Amanda Rich Lee does her like doodle planner and I love the name of that, but obviously that's not what mine would be. So if you have name suggestions, feel free to drop them down below. But anyways, that's the journal that I'm working with today. So all of the designs were hand drawn by yours truly and um, just like mass produced. Finally, I'm so excited about this. And so I'll be coloring in the third monthly theme in there. However, since it is undated, just because it's the third theme in the journal does not need mean that you need to use it for the third month of the year. You can use it for any month you want, whether you're just starting your planner now or you started it in January, but you want to like mix up the order of the months. Um, that's totally up to you. I'm just going to be coloring in the third one for March. So I will link the flip through of this undated planner, pre-made bullet journal, whatever you want to call it right up here in case you want to check it out. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe and come join me over on Instagram if you would like to see some more just like still photos, flat lays of a bunch of different bullet journal spreads. So here's the journal that I decided to use for this year. Um, these sort of undated planners do come in two different colors. This one is called vanilla and then they also come in moss. And I did launch some just like blank doc grid journals at the same time. And those ones come in this same color vanilla and then another color clay. And I feel like all three colors, the vanilla, moss and clay just look so beautiful together. I love the linen covers and how it's like kind of, you know, there's a white thread woven through it. Um, yeah, it's just really unique, I feel. So I'm opening up to the title page of the third month of the year. And if you haven't seen this journal before, you haven't seen the videos that I've made about it, then let me explain just quickly um, kind of what my intentions are with this journal and how it's meant to work for you. So every month has a spread just like this to start the month. So the left page is empty and that's for you to customize this planner. So. Um, I got my start here on YouTube and Etsy and stuff doing custom bullet journals where every page was hand drawn, every page was fully customized to one specific buyer. And this journal is the first time that I have not done that where I've made a bullet journal that is being sold to the masses. So I still wanted there to be some degree of customization. So I left that page blank every single month so that, you know, if you have something more like niche that you need like maybe you need a specific budget tracker or something for your work or your family or your pets or meal planning or a shopping list or something like that you can choose there's one page every month that is up to you and so i don't want that to be pressure as i'm like oh i have to put work into making a spread each month no you can just leave it blank if you don't want to use it um but i wanted that to be um yeah, just a way for everybody to look at this planner. And even if it's, even if you see like that there's something lacking, here's an opportunity to, for you to fill that gap for yourself. I hope that makes sense. And um, the page to the right here, yes, of course, it's the monthly title, but you do not need to draw the month in for yourself. This thing is undated, so there's not a monthly title already on it. You can use any monthly design for any month of the year. But if you flip to the back of this journal, you will find the monthly titles written out, um, two copies of the month written out in full form and two copies of it written out in short form. So you can take your pick, cut and paste, paste one here onto the title, paste one onto the calendar page, paste one onto your future log, whatever. Um, that's kind of what my intention is with this monthly page here. So that's how I decided to dress it up a little bit. I added some dots kind of peppered around. I added a border and um, the markers that I'm using this month, in case you're interested, they're all from Stationery Pal. I do have a discount code down below. Um, this one that I'm using is a Zebra Mild Liner brush pen in the color Smoke Blue. And on top of that, to color in that little, I don't really know what that is, like a little sort of star shaped opening on the blueberries, you know, I'm using Tombow 553 to do that. And then the green that I'm using for the leaves is Tombow 228. So that's my color palette for this month. 
If you want to see kind of different variations of this, um, you can feel free to join me on Instagram or on TikTok. I do have another um, pre-made bullet journal that I gave to myself and um, I've been using different colors every month and kind of doing it in a different way. So for example, in January on YouTube, I did that little kite theme and I added some washi tape and I added a border um, and I did kind of like this blue and green color. Whereas in my other one that I filmed for TikTok and for Instagram, my kite was like yellow and pink and I didn't do the same washi tape. I didn't do a border, um, but I did other designs in this sort of greenish color. And yeah, I just kind of try to show the different ways that you can kind of make this journal your own, make it unique um, by adding little things each month. So this is the monthly calendar spread. And again, since it is undated, there's no dates in the boxes of the calendars, but I hope that won't hinder you from just going in and writing the dates in for yourself. It's really not too challenging and that way it can fit whatever month you are using it for. So that was the monthly calendar page and the monthly calendar page I do set up exactly the same um, as I set it up in my own like personal planning journal that you see a lot on this channel. So the calendar boxes are five dock grid spaces wide by six tall. There's a big margin on the right where you have room for two different things. For me, that would be like YouTube and a weekly focus. Um, but of course you can use it for whatever you want. Now the next monthly page is this one right here. So there's a habit tracker over on the left side and then a really open-ended page on the right. So some ideas for that page um, could be to use it as a planning page like this month I must do, should do, want to do as a reflections page this month I'm enjoying, I'm learning, I'm feeling, I'm grateful for something like that or as kind of a time capsule to see what you were up to that month. So this month I'm listening to, I'm reading, I'm watching, I'm eating, I'm whatever. Um, so those are just different ways that you can use that page because again, I want this journal to be customizable, even though it's not a fully custom journal like the ones that I used to do. So that is the last of the monthly spreads. And I realized I forgot to kind of sprinkle those black dots all around that page. And also on this weekly spread, I forgot to do something um, with my designs here. So if you catch it, feel free to comment down below and let me know what it was. Um, but yeah, I'm going in and coloring in all the blueberries again. Now, March for me, I'm off to a bit of a late start because we did have a funeral in our family last week. So that's why I didn't post any videos, or I guess by the time this video goes up, it will be like two weeks ago. So that's why I missed a week of videos and I'm kind of behind. Normally I try to post all of this kind of content before March actually starts so that I can give you ideas in advance. Um, but I hope this will still be helpful. Since I am off to a bit of a late start, I'm recording this voiceover on March 1st and it's incredible how the weather just like flipped a switch on the 1st of March. I mean, it's going to go back to being cold. It is. I'm from Canada. Um, today it was above zero, like above freezing because we use Celsius and it was amazing. I went out for such a long walk with my son, which was lovely. We try to go for walks as often as we can but you know with the freezing winters it is difficult and also the fact that he hates his snowsuit and screams the entire time i'm putting it on that also makes it really like undesirable to try to go outside because i just feel so bad trying to wrestle him into that thing um, but once he has it on he does like it and he does enjoy going for walks especially if we can find like a snow plow or something like that to watch he's really into like trucks cars just anything big loud and moving he really loves right now so we tried to find some of those things on our walk today quick flip through we've got our cover page calendar our trackers and then we get into the first weekly spread of the month thank you all so much for joining me to color in another month in this little planner. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.